Hello everyone, welcome back to another Doctor Who figure review. In today's Doctor Who figure review, I'm taking a look at one of the highly sought after classic figure sets, which is the Emperor Davros and Destroyed Imperial Dalek. Now, I thought I'd review this as a little throwback to celebrate the Imperial Daleks, because we've had the recent release of the Supreme Dalek and Renegade Dalek in the B&M line, so I thought let's show some love for the Imperial Daleks. Plus, we've had some new exciting information about the Emperor Davros figure that it could be coming to B&M very soon. Um, so without further ado, let's take a look at the figures. So let's take a look at the Emperor Davros first and talk about the new exciting news about the possible re-release of this figure. So here we have Golf Ball Davros, one of the highly sought after classic figure sets. Now this was released back in, I think the 26th of February, 2012 priced at £26.99. So it was one of the last Forbidden Planet exclusives. Um, and I don't know whether that contributes to why it was so rare. Maybe there was a lesser quantity um, because of just how hefty of a figure um, this is. But yes, in terms of the news for this figure and the future and possible re-release of this, um, they lost the moulds for this. They thought the moulds were destroyed, um, but they found the moulds. Um, it was, I think, confirmed back in January that the moulds for this still do exist. And on a recent podcast, the Power of Free podcast, um, there was a little chat about this figure. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below for the whole podcast because it talks about the most recent uh, B&M wave and that's quite fascinating to hear the process for those. Um, that this figure could potentially see a re-release in B&M on its own. So maybe this figure could sort of replace a sort of the Doctor and TARDIS um, sort of figure slot really. Um, so that'd be quite cool for people to get this and it'd be interesting to see how they tweak um, this because I think there's something they can do to tweak it in terms of paint apps um, but we'll talk about that now. The detail for the Emperor Davros, so if we take a look at the dome, so we've got these new dome like pieces which are you know a lot more thicker and chunkier compared to the Imperial Daleks and um, that's done very nice with this nice sort of white um, sort of colour scheme for the dome and of course you've got a little hinge for the little reveal. There's nothing really too exciting in terms of the actual golf ball section. We do have the little hexagon which has got clear plastic which if you get into the light you can see Mr. Dav Ross um, which is very nice and I've noticed that it's not very flush the actual sort of mechanism. Um, you can see there's a little bit of gap there um, which I guess that's so Mr. Dave Ross can uh, have a little breather um, because it can get quite stuffy in the golf ball. Um, so yeah, this seems to be all one piece. As you can see, it's sort of, I feel like it's a new sort of Dalek skirt section because we've got these two little additional dots there. Um, but yeah, if we look at the lower half there, we've got this lovely gold trim there, this lovely sort of ivory uh, color scheme, which is very nice and we've got a lovely uh, patterning section detail there. It's, it's very weird looking at this figure sort of side on um, it just looks so bizarre, um, but yeah, we've got a nice sort of trim detailing there. Um, but yeah, I think this is sort of a bit of a rotocast sort of section there. Um, but yeah, it's quite a heavy little thing. Um, this, especially the skirt section, this is quite weighty um, compared to your standard uh, Dalek uh, skirt section. But yeah, not too much to say. We've got these two additional little circles there, and then of course we have the traditional um, remembrance of the Daleks, Imperial Daleks, sort of skirt section with the nice sort of gold hemispheres and the lovely sort of ivory white and the brilliant sort of white fender there which really does pop. Now I guess the exciting thing um, about this is the reveal. I guess the only bit of articulation this figure has is the reveal um, which is a very nice little cool feature. So there is Davros um, and there has been a little bit of additional tooling compared to the other Davroses. Um, this Davros has a new microphone, which you can see. Um, but yeah, you can see, very nice to see that be updated. And I think the, the wires actually seem ever so slightly um, thinner, um, which is interesting. And you can see the color difference in the sort of mask. And because I think the Davros mask was a lot more paler in um, Remembrance of the Daleks. And it sort of has the same sort of chalky um, texturing as the store figure had um, but yeah that's done very nice you can see it has a slight sort of black wash to really highlight the sculpting details to get into the nooks and crannies of the sculpt which 
really works really well and brings that sort of sculpt to life, especially sort of around the jaw section and the eyes. It really does make it pop and look very nice. Yeah, very nice, sort of a nice sort of scarring detail. You can really admire the Terry Malloy sculpt. I think it is one of the best head sculpt character options have done because it just looks absolutely incredible. Now, this is when the paint apps really do sort of let this sort of down um, because obviously Davros is in his new little disguise um, and I guess he looks like he, he's sort of wearing a bin bag in Remembrance of the Daleks and I think that the crying shame of this is the paint apps on the wires you can see that there's been an attempt to paint them and you can see that it's not quite captured it but you can see um, where they've tried to sort of paint the wires and where they've sort of missed and yeah it, it just looks a little bit messy so I think maybe with a revised version in B&M they can sort of you know sort of do a better version of the sort of paint apps because I guess it is quite intricate um, but yeah you can see how that's all done I think that's all done very well that sort of wiring section there but yeah you can see where they've not fully painted um, this um, correctly uh, but yeah it's, it's a weird one but yeah I think the detailing is nice Davros's head it it's sort of fixed in place um, which I guess you're not really wanting to move it as long as you can sort of patrol it around but yeah it's it's an interesting thing there's not too much to say in terms of detail um, I think the, the mask details the paint apps on that's done very nicely it's just a shame about the quality of the painting on the wire so that is Mr Emperor Davros so let's take a look at the destroyed Imperial Moving on to the second figure in this set, the destroyed Imperial Dalek. Now this Imperial Dalek uses the second Imperial Dalek sculpt from the Remembrance of a Dalek set in 2010 because um, it has the more accurate plunger and the thinner gun um, there. So let's take a look at this. Now in terms of articulation, we we'll quickly cover it. It has the ball jointed plunger and gun and it has a ball jointed little mutant claw. We'll talk about the mutant in a minute and of course has the little wheels. Um, but detail wise, let's take a look at this. This is very cool. This is a this is sort of a trend in the Food and Plan exclusives um, where we have a little bit of artistic license. Um, it happened with the the, the set what followed um, what came previously, the Attack of the Cybermen set with the Rogue Cyberman with the faceplate, um, with that having more of a skeleton look behind the mask. This has more of a sort of a combination of a new series Dalek mutant meets the sort of the biomechanical nature of the Imperial Daleks. Now this is absolutely brilliant. We've got the lovely sort of green slime there and sort of the charred sort of nature of the sort of inner casing and this lovely sort of wash over the sort of pinky texture of the actual mutant itself to really highlight sort of the brain and the, the eye details done great. The very nice sort of sharp paint apps there really to capture that sort of mutant eye. Um, but yeah, you've got the traditional Dalek claw which you know looks very much as it did in Remembrance. We've got this lovely vibrant metallic silver paint um, which really does sort of sell that sort of biomechanical nature of it and you can see sort of it trying to climb out of the casing there with sort of the slime and gunge over some of the, the tentacles so yeah this is really really lovely um, as things go you can see sort of the sort of housing sort of the, the section detail of sort of the Dalek casing how it's all this sort of put together and armoured which is brilliant um, but yeah really nice and it's great that that is articulated we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute but yeah in, in terms of other detail it is a standard Dalek detailing, but we have this lovely burnt and charred um, sort of paint apps on the slats where it's sort of been burnt, um, which is really great detailing there, really sort of has that sort of, sort, of, sort of smoke damage, as it were. We can see sort of the gradient change from the sort of, you know, what the gold should be on the hemispheres. I think that has done really, really nicely. Got a sort of a nice sort of wash there, which really does sort of help accentuate that sort of charred nature of it and then of course we have the traditional um, plunger uh, with the thinner detailing the little section cut out and the thinner um, Dalek gun again very nice nice little hexagonal um, detailing there and again traditional sort of Imperial Dalek 
detailing. Now, one thing what I love about this figure is that on paper it probably sounds a bit dull. It's a destroyed Imperial Dalek, so you probably feel a little bit cheated that you're getting half a Dalek figure. But there's a nice little bit of playability and you can recreate scenes because obviously the claw is ball jointed. Um, you know, the Sam Doctor can wander around and go, oh, hello, Mr. Mutant, and, you know, start to get strangled um, by the Dalek. But don't worry, the Sam Doctor can be saved by his trusty friend, Ace, with the baseball bat. So, yeah, it's really cool. It's a nice little feature and it's a thing how I like to display um, this on the shelf with a spare Sam Doctor and Ace um, beside there. And it just makes for quite a nice little display on the shelf really um, because otherwise it would just look a bit weird on the shelf like that but yeah it has a light it has a great little shelf presence there and it's nice to recreate one of the many iconic moments from remembrance of the so Dalek. there we have it that has been my review on the emperor davros and destroyed imperial dalek so we've got a little imperial dalek display there now one thing i forgot to mention i did say that this dalek uses the um, Forbidden Planet Imperial Dalek gun um, sculpt. It actually uses the original um, Imperial Dalek there with a the thinner gun instead of the, the more chunkier 70s gun there. So yes, it uses a combination of the Imperial Daleks. A more accurate plunger from this and the more accurate gun from this release there. So yes, what are my overall thought on this set? Well, I really do like it. I think that it's one where you can recreate scenes and it has one of the key moments of the, the story, the reveal of Davros, where you can recreate that and have him there. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little option for displays, having whether you want to have the lid closed or open. Um, but yeah, the, the Destroyed Imperial Dalek might be the favourite one of this, just because of the playability and the, the detail of this, of just the detail of the mutant is just absolutely amazing and incredible. Um, the Emperor Davros, you know, though he's just sort of a bit of a, a figure that just looks, has a lot of presence, doesn't need to do much, doesn't have much articulation, bar for a little um, lid lifting. Um, he just has great sort of shelf presence and that's the main thing um, you want from it and just it just completes that sort of remembrance of a Dalek display. So hopefully the re-release does happen so if you don't have this Emperor Davros then you can have it because, you know, it's a great um, looking figure very unique and distinctive um, within the actual sort of Dalek casing um, history really so yes that's been my review on the Emperor Davros and Destroyed Imperial Dalek if you can find it for a good price and not silly money then you know the prices for this set might drop so if you're waiting for this and you you get the Emperor Davros but you need the Destroyed Imperial Dalek it may bring the prices down um, if this does get a re-release, which hopefully it does, so people can enjoy this wonderful um, figure and it looks great when you've got two Imperials flanking uh, Davros there, but yeah Overall great set and yeah a very interesting set what on paper probably seems a little bit dull But it has a lot of character to it. So yes, yeah, so that's been my review on the Emperor Davros and destroyed Imperial Dalek So thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe for plenty more Doctor Who figure related content coming up in the near future. So thank you very much and bye bye.